The U.S. and Israel are depriving Iran and Russia of drone technology. The U.S. administration has already discussed with the new Israeli government the possibilities for stopping the supply of weapons from Iran, in particular UAVs, to Russia that uses them against the civilian population of Ukraine. U.S. State Department spokesperson Ned Price said this, We have obviously had discussions with our Israeli partners regarding the threat presented by Iranian UAV technology and the proliferation of Iranian UAV technology to countries around the world, including to Russia, he said. Price stated that this had been the subject of conversations between senior State Department officials. It was a topic of conversation between Jake Sullivan and his counterpart at the White House just before the holidays, he said. Price added that Washington uses the available levers to prevent Tehran from implementing schemes for the supply of weapons abroad. He recalled that the United States had introduced sanctions against individuals and legal entities involved in these arrangements. In addition, the U.S. is continuing to look for targets for new sanctions. Price also noted that the United States is coordinating its approach with allies and partners around the world to disrupt this pipeline of technology from Iran to Russia and other malign actors. Russia has been using Iranian-made kamikaze drones to strike critical infrastructure and civilian populations in Ukraine. In this condition, Biden administration has embarked on a broad effort to halt Iran's ability to produce and deliver drones to Russia for use in the war in Ukraine, an endeavor that has echoes of its years-long program to cut off Tehran's access to nuclear technology. The administration has accelerated its moves to deprive Iran of the Western-made components needed to manufacture the drones being sold to Russia after it became apparent from examining the wreckage of intercepted drones that they are stuffed with made-in-America technology. U.S. forces are helping Ukraine's military to target the sites where the drones are being prepared for launch, a difficult task because the Russians are moving the launch sites around from soccer fields to parking lots. And the Americans are rushing in new technologies designed to give early warning of approaching drone swarms to improve Ukraine's chances of bringing them down with everything from gunfire to missiles.